Hey you guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, as you can see, the panels for the most part are right in the sun. Got one little thing from the tree here on that one panel, but for the most part, they're all right in the sun. Um, I wanted to talk about why I need to add solar panels. Okay, so if it was just me up here, I could almost probably get away with 1,500 watts for now. Um, as we go into the fall season, the days are lessening, and uh, we're, you know, every day gets shorter, and we're not getting as much sunshine. Um, as you can see, I'm going to pan this up real quick. It's a pretty beautiful day. Clear blue sky today. No clouds. Um, they're saying a high of 77, I believe, today. But um, anyway... As the colder weather comes, the days get shorter, and the production of sunshine is not what it needs to, you know, as much as it is in the summertime, obviously. For, And I'm in the northeast, so, um, you know, December, January are going to be pretty crappy months for, for sunshine, no matter what, anyway. So, I, I have a 1500 watt system right now, and I'm probably going to need a total of about a 3000 watt system and I'm gonna kinda run some numbers by you to try to explain why I need that much um, right now on a good sunny day uh, we'll pull in I mean now that the days are getting shorter I mean yesterday we ended up we did have some clouds yesterday though too but we ended up pulling in 3.3 .3 kilowatt hours yesterday okay the key of what you want to have is you want to have your um, Batteries, I, I, I always say float, and I don't mean to say float, I mean absorption. You want your batteries in absorption mode, which means they're just kind of there. Even if you have the power on, they're just in a kind of state of flux, but you're bringing in enough power to keep the batteries at a higher level absorption. You tr ideally, if you can keep your batteries in absorption for four hours a day, at least four hours a day, it's going to prolong the life of your battery. So it's basically what you're trying to make sure you do is prolong the life of your batteries, okay? So I'm going to go into the building in a minute here and kind of explain a couple more things to you. But uh, so yesterday we brought in 3.3 .3 kilowatt hours. And we did get into absorption mode, but definitely not long enough. I know that. But the batteries are in really good shape. I mean, I, I don't have any complaints about that. But as we get into winter more, I definitely... We need to add more panels because we're just not going to have enough. Um, I would like to get a, a metal racking system and get these guys up higher. That's not going to happen this year. All right. Um, I had a few people ask me why I built these higher because I can slide these panels up. I can just slide them right up in the rack and I can put something underneath here, which is going to give me that extra foot, like two feet on these ones. Um, to keep them off the ground so when the snow comes and the snow gets higher they're not sitting right there on the ground okay um so that's that's why i i did that that's why i made when i did this second set i made them even bigger so that i can slide them up higher and uh you know that'll that'll be fine as far as uh making sure that the the snow doesn't get all that much higher on them so, but I eventually, like I said, I want to get a, a, a nice racking system. I would love to be able to get a sun tracker, which would give me definitely much more production as far as bringing in uh, solar all day long. Now, summertime, um, the best day I had this year, we brought in 4.6 kilowatt hours. That was our best day. Um, say hello. Um, let me go in here and... Now, batteries-wise, I believe that I'm good, okay? So, let's see what we're at for today. All right, so right now, um, it's like 12.30. We've brought in 1.0 kilowatt hours on a day. Right now is a time when the sun is really hammering on the panels. Uh, the batteries are at 26.6 at the moment. It's saying the batteries are at 94%, okay? I got like 720 watts coming in and uh, 27 point 
six amps uh, 87.8 volts okay so basically what we're looking at is we want to keep these batteries at a higher level so bringing in more power is going to do that for us okay um, like I said again we want to be in absorption mode absorption mode is the way to be and it's, the longer you can have your batteries in absorption mode the better during the day because at night you're going to drain your batteries down now if I dig the batteries down okay so to get into into absorption mode I need to be at 28.6 28.6 puts me in absorption mode um, I'm at 26.5 right now now pretty much the batteries are fully charged up but they're not in absorption mode okay so let me go back outside here so um, So realistically, on a bad day, we've had a couple bad days weather-wise up here, a lot of rain and stuff like that. Um, we've brought in 1.2 kilowatt hours, which never gets us up to that absorption mode. So if I have more panels and add more panels, I'm going to definitely put myself in a better position to get more power in to keep the it's it's prolonging your life of your batteries is what you're really trying to do that that's the key to this whole thing is keeping your batteries in good shape and uh, because I have 12 batteries I need more power coming in to keep them up into that level of the absorption mode so um, realistically when and will I get the next three panels to put me up um, to 2250 watts well tax time is coming up in January so by the end of January, I'll have, uh, you know, my refund for the taxes, and I will probably buy my panels then. So what does that mean for us for the winter, okay? Now, last winter, we ran the generator a lot, <laughs> a whole lot. Um, and so this spring, we upgraded everything. If you've watched my videos, you know that we put in a new inverter. We put in a new charge controller. Um, we added more panels. I upgraded the batteries. I went from T105s to L16E batteries. So it was a pretty big investment this year. And I am I'm trying to think how to be where I want to be with solar panels um, to put in a good tracking system. Probably I'm looking at three to $3,500 to get us where we want to be as far as solar goes and then we should be in good shape now what we did last winter we ran the generator a lot I won't need to run the generator as much this year because what we have done with our inverter oh and I went from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system this year okay but um, excuse me the inverter that I have I bought on purpose it was um, a recommendation by Bill from Bill and Rose off grid and I'm gonna mention him a lot guys because um, when I talk about my solar because he was instrumental in helping me to understand what I needed to get how I needed to do it how I needed to get it squared away nicest guy in the freaking world he will help anybody so that's a that's a huge thing somebody coming by with a truck so anyway he uh, he had, you know, he had helped me get to that point. So this year, what we'll end up doing is I'll have the generator hooked in to the battery bank. So when I'm running the house on the on the generator, okay, because the way I have my house set up, if I have my breakers flipped one way, I'm running on solar. If I flip them the other way, I can run the house on a generator. Well, what we're going to be doing here is wiring up the inverter so that when we're running the generator this winter it's also charging the batteries so which ultimately means where last year we probably ran the generator we ran it a lot i don't i couldn't even tell you exactly what we ran it but maybe this year i run the generator for four hours a day okay um letting the sun do what it's got to do while it's sunny and then like maybe in the evening run the generator for four hours which tops off my batteries so then we just run on the batteries so ultimately we're gonna run less this year than last year on the generator the ultimate goal is to not run the generator at all okay that's why I've been working on trying to get things squared away with the solar so 
it's a work in progress it takes time it takes money and uh, but you know it's we've come a long long way um, you know and I just you know it's it's a labor of love realistically I mean it's uh, if you want to if you have a goal and everybody's gonna be different I mean 3,000 watts is probably gonna work for us 3,000 watts may not work for somebody else okay um, like I said now right now summer when it's summer 1500 watts we've been fine would I I want more absolutely I want more power because I want to be able to do whatever I want to do and, and that's the that's the key you know it's it comes down to wants and needs okay but ultimately we will run the generator this winter but not as much as we ran it last winter hopefully by the following year we won't run the generator at all that is the goal um, I'm hoping to get like I said once tax time comes I want to get at least three more panels and uh, by the end of next year I hope to have 3,000 watts of solar and be really ready for winter and hopefully have a tracking system in place and that's that's my goal so we will see what happens with that and uh, we'll go from there but uh, so I hope that kind of gives you an idea of why I need more solar panels what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to extend the life of my batteries keep my batteries in good shape um, if we take the batteries down to 24.2 volts that takes us at 50 percent we don't want to go below that so whenever we get down I mean I think the lowest that I've taken the batteries down was uh, 24.3 but I don't like to do that on a regular basis because it's just not good for the batteries so I would rather you know have them at a higher level and the more panels I get I keep them at a more level where the batteries are in great shape so I hope that explains more to you guys of why what we're going to be doing and um, you know once we get the inverter uh, wired up to the generator I'll explain that it's when we do that okay so I hope this explains stuff if you have questions comments please like and share um, I appreciate all the support guys I love all the influx of new people I love all the questions um, really I've seen some great conversations between uh, my subscribers with each other and I think that's awesome because it's all a learning thing we're all trying to learn from each other okay so I hope everybody has a great day. It is Labor Day weekend. Am I saying that? Yes, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> um, today is the 3rd of September, and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a great day, okay? Prepper Nurse went out for now.